Welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Symbol Tech Bench. So, in the previous video, I start to solder this stuff. I'm pretty done with it. Everything is soldered, so nothing left. Ah, just the capacitor because. I ordered them to, to AliExpress and they didn't show up yet in the mail. So I'm still waiting and when I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna solder them here. Also the buzzer is not a solder because the one that I have is not this size, it's a bigger one. So I ordered a size right like this one and so I'm gonna wait that to arrive. Everything is soldered nice. So. Let me put all stuff together and maybe we're gonna give a try to see how it works if it's all the design correct and all the line are going to be connected through what they need to be. So let's start to, move, to, up, to put in place everything. Here, ESP goes to here, okay, and ref goes to here, and the brain, which is the mega pro mini, goes here in the middle. Uh, press it good, has a lot of pins, so I'm pretty sure it should be everything correct. So, so far it's all sorted. So, let's hook up the temperature measurement, which is ground positive and signal. So, if I go here, I have positive signal and ground. So, positive and goes the signal. this one so I need also to design to easier than another another board where I need to hook up this together the card reader with the Arduino Nano because also this one counts because this box it is gonna stay in a box I think I also ordered the box that should do that one so this should be in this box because this one it will gonna be mounted on the front door like that when you come uh, when you come home just tap your card and deactivate the alarm when you go from home you just tap the card and activate the alarm and yeah we're gonna go in one box like that and i'm thinking the sensors they're they, they gonna be applied on the, on the ceiling design a PCB board and to mount this one they are hook up on the ceiling and here they are gonna be the sensors so, so I have the communication that comes to serial serial communication through software serial uh, library I use it so 
if I go to hook up number five, just this one to eleven on this board, which eleven is this one here. The next one which is six goes to twelve. Then I have ground and five volts that we should come through this to these two. And here it's telling me that the sensor is uh, offline. I don't know why it's here in the corner. But you can see it. Let me just bring this one more just to put it a bit first. There in the corner, yeah. I don't know why it doesn't want to stay like that, so maybe like that it will stay better. So you can see it shows still that it's uh, not connected. So say block is ground, red is positive, to volt, and it's all sorted. All right, here let me just give a power. And as I say, this one is doing like that until until he will gonna find the internet connection, and it will gonna go over. Just wait until he's connecting. So, show me that is connected, and it's telling me now. And if you can see now, the line goes over down. And it's booting and it's boot. So now we have everything up and running. I'm gonna just take my I'm gonna take my touch screen pen, which is that one. And let's true. First of all, I think I might need to go to not lights I need to go to settings to make more brightness this let's see then. so I think 27 per 7 is go good come back here go to the lights and if I press on my mobile the kitchen always vibrating so if you can see I press that one and it's coming through my screen on let me hold in and also my mobile is telling me that is on I press off it's coming off and my mobile is telling me also that the lights was switched off then bedroom it's telling me that is on also here also here and now if I turn it off it's coming off here, off here, and then what I want to show you more than that. Ah, also, if I press here, it will gonna come notification that someone turn on the light. Look, so I'm going with that one. So living room, see, living room is on. Someone turn off the light in the living room. Turn it off. And it's telling me someone switched off the light in the living room. So it's all around the world you can see that one because it's connected via internet. Then what happens if I go to Thermo? Thermo will have the page where is the property, humidity, temperature inside the house. So it's just this DHT that is reading all this stuff and it's sending to the fourth panel. Here in the bottom we have the set temperature inside the house, so for the moment, how you can see, is uh, telling me that the temperature is below 20, and now I move it a bit, so. So, as you can see, it's the same de details on this screen on my mobile, so if I go to start to increase from mobile, and if you can see, last time it shows me that it was set up in 27 degrees so you 
it's asking me if I want to set up the same temperature like before so I'm gonna go just go a little bit so it's 21 it's telling me that the, the boiler is on now and you can see also here is flashing the red one it's telling me that I have the boiler on inside the house and if I go below it's telling me that the the boiler is off and uh, it's flashing the green that is telling me that it's off so I'm continuing still to my project I was in the middle doing in a prototyping board this board where I'm gonna have the the sound to my uh, my automation system security and fire system alarm so it's gonna be the sound because it's gonna also have voice and I was prototyping the board so let's continue with the, the job that I'm doing here so practically I need to install a voltage regulator 5 volt voltage regulator basically what we have here so I have my 5 volt voltage regulator two capacitors now I'm gonna solder on this board so I'm gonna put the drive off here and bring flaps to me so I receive also by mail some solder I ordered it from Aliexpress and I say that I'm gonna give you a shot to see how that works let me call up my my solder so it's another station is going off right now mind the beep it's just telling me that it's turning on okay. in the meantime let's see how we're gonna solve this one so we have volt in ground volt out so volt out is this one we have the positive yeah, so I'm gonna put here because in the middle I need to add those two, con two capacitors. So maybe I can just be with that one here. So, what I'm doing now, <laughs> am I adding voices to my uh, home security system alarm? Like when you get home telling you welcome back home and it's telling you also your name when you leave the house it's telling you bye bye have a good day when the tank team let's see smoke in the mail that for example if you detect smoke in the kitchen you're gonna say oh I detect smoke in the kitchen and if any intruder comes you then I say oh, I detect a motion in a specific uh, area like bedroom so I have mp3 player that can be controlled to TX and IX by Arduino I have an amplifier 5 volts and I think has like two, twice 3 watts is more than enough for what I need and I solder and I make a prototyping board so I have here to solder this one where it's coming the 12 volts power supply and then regulator is putting down to 5 I need to solder also in this side another, another jumper two point connectors in order to go to Arduino so I also my dear friends my board is done everything soldered in place what do you think? We give a try to see if it's 
everything what I'm doing here is working. Let's try. So, this one. to be sure that it's working the right. Screen is to come on this side. This one as well needs to come on this side. Let me bring some speakers. So I bring my speaker. Let me start to connect everything starting from the speakers and it's done. Now let's power off also the sound. So we have sound and I prepared here Put here some fobs. So I have already inserted in the system these fobs, which is one, two. I put also the name on it to see that it's telling you that name. So let, let's see. Now the alarm is a standby. It's telling you that it's disarms. So if you see here reading these are and if I scan let's say I'm going out from the house going to work so I'm scanning my fob with my name have a nice day Tony bye and it's telling me have a nice day Tony let's see if in the meantime someone trying to use a fob that is not inserted on the system an unknown card was swiped I am not able to recognize you. Sorry, if you have any bad intentions, I am going to call the police. So you're gonna say this voice. I think it's too loud that you can lower a bit the volume. So let's see. I am at work and my wife, she's coming home and the alarm is already armed. So you can see that it's mentioned armed. So let me bring a bit zoom to be more close to you can read what is in the screen so as I say my wife she's coming home I am at work and the system is armed the system is disarmed time to get in the house so let's see now it's opening the door coming inside the house it's removing her jacket and it's making herself uh, accommodate in the house welcome back home Gretchen how are you? And then the system grid. Let's see my brother. He's leaving the house. He's coming and scanning the home with a probe. Have a nice day, Christy. So bye. We see my brother he left. Now I'm coming back home. My probe. The same. I'm scanning. It's telling me that the system is disarmed, coming inside the house, remove my jacket, accommodate myself, and then the system is going to grid me. It's Welcome back home, Tony. How are you? So, here I have the software that I'm in uh, the action display. This is the booting process page, this is page zero, and I have a time, a timer, an event, a timer event set up over there. You can see also here I need to write down <coughs> the code in order to display all the stuff on the screen. So like starting with the booting process and then go on down. When it's getting to search for internet here, it's gonna show search, checking the Wi-Fi connection. So it's stopping over there until it received the command from Mega that they connect to internet through ASP8266. 
one is connected and we're gonna show you the screen wi fi connected i'm starting to go over to the the process and we're gonna process all this stuff and we're gonna process many sending and uh, put it all together and graph it and stuff like that and then jump to the page number one which is this one so once you get in the page number one here as i say i have that pin you have to set up your own pin that pin is for let's see if was detected a smoke the system allows you two minutes to run to the place where it's going to show in the space like here it's going to show oh i did the smoke in the future i did take the smoke in the living room or in the bedroom so on it's giving you that two minutes to go to and investigate the area to see if it's really a fire or why there is that smoke and if there is not a real fire you have time to come back to the panel put your pin and once you accept your pin you press ok we're gonna jump straight away to this page when you just press reset and the alarm will be reset at like the full bells do not ring and here i have this time when i go to the this page to this page to keep the same brightness that you're gonna set up from the setting page which is this one it's page number four so you have the brightness here up and down and you have here no so telling you the second you press the button refresh <coughs> and it will gonna search for all the connection that is with this one so it will gonna go to check if the main panel is working perfectly and it will gonna show here the main panel okay and if it's communicated with the kitchen it will gonna show you okay with so on if my any of the sensor in one location is failed you're gonna say, show you that it's not connected so you need to my check the connection what's going on with the with the, with the wireless connection like the, with the nrf 24l01 here also it will gonna show you if it's connected to wife your uh, bread uh, broadband uh, to have a wi-fi connection then in the page tray i set up my term heating system like it's reading the humidity and if there is too many too much humidity as i say you can also i can also put another two buttons to set up i want in the house to be this humidity and you have, have a fan or the humidator to gonna turn on to bring back the humidity like how many percent you want for the moment i insert in the system just to to control the boiler like which temperature you want in the house you set up from the both these two buttons and if the temperature is gonna be below the temperature that you set up it's gonna automatically turn on your boiler to bring it to that temperature and when it's getting to that temperature we're gonna switch it off the, the boiler and if i go to the page number two here i have where is the is the main page that you can control the lights on all the house so like for example this is the kitchen on off and it's gonna show here uh, kitchen is on or kitchen is off and so on it will gonna show you the messages and page one as i said you go to the menu you have set internal lights to go to the pages the last page i said is this one it's requiring, requiring to, go, to insert the pin that you set up when you set up your own pin like that no one can go to that page to reset the, the part the the system because the full bells they have two kind of pulleys and one one full bell is uh, uh, for fire system if the smoke detector that it is smoke it's one kind of sound and then for the motion if my let's say you no one is at home and some any tick come and broke the window and jump to your house it will gonna sound other system also other other bells so that, this is the program that runs in the connection display then here i have the program that runs on my mega so the the, the hopefully the, the central station that communicates with all the other sensors via wi-fi through nrf 24l01 recently i had this part on the program where it's telling me about this sound that when you scan the card you say hey hello welcome back home and so on so this one is just to this part i write it here to give me a delay like when you come back home and deactivate the sensor to give you that time that you can 
come in the house and then you, you, it, you're gonna be greeted by the system. I couldn't use a delay because if I use delay, the delay it will gonna disconnect my system from the Wi-Fi connection. So that's why I needed to add some variables in order to put the system to count. And when it, it's getting to a, a certain time, like counting up to 15, then to play the song. And then when it's going over, then 17 to go back to one, and then one is staying, it's not counting. So then the same system things same lines I added here when you activate the alarm straight away it will gonna tell you okay well uh, have a nice day because you are already outside the door because the card reader it will gonna be mounted in the front of the entrance on the front of the entrance door and here I have also the system that I write it all this code and it's quite long as you can see guys it's almost 1948 lines of code so it took a while until I, I write down all this 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 line still is not uh, yet done because I still need to look through some lines and to add some other stuff because perfectly how it's working when detecting smoke as I say it allows you that two minutes to run the place where is the smoke and then if it's a real fire and you don't reset the panel, it will gonna go on full base, full bell, bells. The same also with the with the motion system. Let's see, maybe you just come in house and you forget to scan your fob, and the motion they are gonna detect it. It'll gonna beep the panel. They're gonna say tit tit, something like that, so, like two beeps. And after that, it will gonna appear in uh, in the system the location where the, the, the sensor detect you like say you are in the living room detect you in the living room and allows you also there like one minute after the beep that the panel just do a, a, a not loud beep it's just a, not that high volume so if you are you the one and you know oh my god i forget to to scan my probe it's allowed you the same to go to the to go to the panel and put your pin and reset the pa panel in order to don't go the full belt. Otherwise, if it, if it's not inserted that pin, it will gonna go straight away in the full belt, so it will gonna ring. Uh, so that's the program that I'm running on my systems. And other than that, I still have one code that is running in the. Arduino Nano that is controlling the NRF, uh, no, it's controlling the, uh, uh, the RFID cards. Then I have another uh, five softwares quite similar that they are running in uh, each individual Pro Micros that control the sensors and the NRF, each individual NRF to communicate with the base. Practically, when I'm gonna get to the point to show you how to communicate, I'm gonna show also the softwares from those those five uh, sensor modules.